Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, talking to you guys over a little bit of Minecraft 1.4 tips, guys. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Today we're going to be talking about the beacon block, as you guys can see here. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about the basics, guys. I will link to another video at the end, which talks a little bit about more advanced beacon block designs and stuff like that. But for the most part, this is pretty much all you're going to need. And it's turning into nighttime right now, which is kind of perfect, because it looks pretty awesome at nighttime. But let's kind of get started. So, before you get into all this type of nonsense, you're going to need to know how to make a beacon block. So if you guys look in here, you're gonna need five glass, three obsidian, and a nether star. So this nether star, you guys might be saying, what the hell is a nether star? Well, uh, I'll link a video right now. There'll be an annotation on the screen or a link in the description saying how to get a nether star, guys. And uh, I made a video about that. Basically, it has to do with spawning in a wither and all that great stuff. So I'm not gonna go over it. You guys can go click and watch that video. And that'll give you a beacon block. So if you guys, I'll show you guys right now, a beacon block in itself is worth jack shit, um, pretty much. You place it down, nothing. It doesn't, really, doesn't do anything. You can throw as many diamonds in it as you want, and it, it's not, it's not going to do anything for you. So uh, that's pretty much garbage right there. Um, let's throw this back in here for a moment. Let's pick up this and this and that. And uh, so now we got this. So pretty much in order for your beacon block to do anything, as you guys see, there's light coming out. In order for your beacon block to do anything, you need to have a pyramid underneath it. And this pyramid, this is the most basic of basic pyramids. Uh, it needs to have one layer, so one layer underneath the block. It has nine blocks in that layer, so a three by three, and 37 block radius. This, this little one layer pyramid will give you a 37 block radius. Now this kind of layer right here, any of these layers that I'll talk about over, you know, the course of the next couple minutes, all of these can be built with emeralds, diamonds, gold, iron blocks, any of those resources. Sadly, you can't use the lapis, but you can use any one of these resources. And uh, they can be as mismatched as you want. You can have all iron if you want. You don't need, you know, whatever. You can have uh, any mismatch of them or all of one, whatever you guys want, pretty much. I want to make that clear. Um, so that's your simple, okay? So that's going to give you a 37 block radius, and it'll only let you select between speed and haste. So those are the two you get. So let's throw, you know, a diamond in here. Let's select speed. And as you guys can see, you have a secondary power here. You cannot select that if you only have a one layer pyramid. So, moving on. Let's not start this up. Pretty much I'll just get speed. Um, and now moving on to the second one. So this is a two-layer design. This is going to use 34 blocks, and this is going to increase your radius from 37 to 51. So that gives you an extra 14 block radius. Uh, just so you guys know, this is a square radius, so it's 14 blocks from each side, uh, just so you guys know. And in this one, let's throw a diamond in here, you're going to get not just speed and haste, but you're going to get resistance and jump boost, guys. So again, when you select this secondary power, you do not get a secondary power. So moving on to the next one, we're going to see a three-layer pyramid. And a three-layer pyramid, and this is where it starts stacking up in the amount of blocks you guys need. Remember, a block is nine resources, so whatever it says, like 83 blocks, multiply that by nine to see how many iron you're going to need. So this is three layers, 83 blocks, and it gives you a 67 radius. So compare that to this one, you get an extra 16 blocks of radius, guys. We're going to go up here. I'm going to drop a diamond in here. And as you guys can see, we can pick up any of these ones, guys. You can pick speed, haste, resistance, jump boost, strength. Uh, sadly, again, you cannot pick from secondary power. It will not let you. That leads us to the final and the freaking beast that is the four-layer pyramid. This is 164 blocks. And, and it has an 81 block radius, guys. The bottom layer on this is 81 blocks, guys. The bottom layer alone is almost more than this entire pyramid here. So this is going to take you a while to build one of these. and uh, But it, it might be worth it for you guys, an 81 block radius. And this is the one where, as you guys can see, I throw a diamond in there. And I can select from speed. And then from here, I can select regen, speed 2. So let's select speed 2 and click done. And as you guys can see, now I have speed 2. So let's run this way. Whee! And it's so uber fast and everything like that. So uh, that's pretty much that part of it. Uh, now we're just going to talk about a little bit about these specific rules that have to go along with the beacon. So let's just place that there. Rules that have to go along with the beacon. So let's... Where the hell is my button here? Uh, we're going to have to turn it into daytime right now. And uh, pretty much there's a couple rules. So as you guys can see here, I have this set up. And you guys might have said, hey, Nick, why do you have this set up? Well, there's a rule with a beacon, is that you can't have anything over the beacon block itself. You can have as much as you want over all the other blocks, the pyramid itself, but if you have anything over the beacon, it will shut off, as you guys see right here. Uh, the only blocks that you can have above it is transparent blocks like glass. Glass will not interfere with it, so that's a bonus right there. Um, as well, you can have a beacon share blocks with one another, so you can go like this, 
and I can add a row to that, and then I can have a beacon block here, and then they will share blocks with one another. Just hold on one moment. Why, why, why aren't you starting? Why are you not starting? Oh, wait, that's why. Because of this. Sorry, guys. Um, so now it should go. There we go. So you see it go off now, so they can share resources, they can share blocks, and this will not take a hit on their radiuses or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much the, the specifics that have to go with those. Um, I'm going to throw these back in here. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, guys. Somewhere on the screen right now, I'll be linking to the second part of this for those of you who are kind of interested in advanced beacons and stuff like that and doing more stuff with them. So you guys can click that link if you guys want to see it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this uh, video. If you guys didn't, again, remember to leave a rating. Remember to follow me on Twitter. Remember to subscribe to Join the Nation. And uh, see you guys in the outro. And here's the part of the episode where I tell you guys about all my other 1.4 episodes. So, you guys can click anywhere on the screen right now and it'll bring you to the according video, guys. You guys can see new improved villagers, command blocks, new blocks, wither boss, top 5 mods, how to use the beacon, bats and witches, carrots and potatoes, redstone updates, and all the other minor tweaks and fixes, guys. You guys can click there. Uh, if the video has not been released yet, guys, it'll lead you to the subscribe button where you can subscribe to be updated when the video does come out. If it is released, it'll link you to the video. If you guys did really enjoy this video, remember guys to leave a like rating. It is greatly appreciated appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. And um, yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. Again, I'm the doctor and I'm out. Peace.